Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a New Year's Eve look and we want to do this glitter, glam, glowy look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start today, of course, by putting my hair up because I can never do anything with it down. <laughs> and I, of course, need my little pin. Place it like so. And I'm gonna go in today with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. This is just the best primer. It feels silky smooth. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit Pore Professional. <laughs> can never say that right. But it doesn't dry my skin out like the Benefit one did. So I like this one a lot better. It's more hydrating. But it still fills in that pore to make that flawless face. And down my neck. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced 24 hour eyeshadow primer insurance. I'm gonna put this all over my lid. This makes sure that the eyeshadow not only stays in place for the entire day, but it also just makes the colors more vibrant and brighter. And I have actually been putting this under my eyes lately, just a dab to help with the creasing part and help the foundation stay on and the concealer stay on much better. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX color corrector and just, you know, blot out my blotchiness <laughs> that I have. I'm using the green for the combat the red and then some orange to combat, or actually pink to combat the brown spots. And I'm going in with my new Urban Decay All Nighter Shadow or Foundation in the shade 2.0. And I'm doing a little bit of a different technique. Normally I would do this with my beauty blender. But I got these new Mikasa brushes that I wanted to use, and I just felt like right there I look like a leper. <laughs> these are the Mikasa brushes. They're so great. I've been using them for a few days before I did camera work just to make sure I understood how they move. But they do a really nice job of laying the foundation on super quick. It is faster than a beauty blender. It is pretty flawless. I do like them. Um, there's a couple different brushes that they have. This is the larger one. Then they have a smaller contour, which you'll see in a few minutes here. And then they have, you know, an angled brush and um, a dot brush, I call it. But I don't really like the dot brush so much. Um, that's really good for when you have a contour palette. And I don't have one because I don't feel like I need one, personally. <laughs> um, I'm good with what I use now. But I do love this brush here, and so there will be a coupon code soon to buy those. Uh, these are my NYX HD concealers and my contour. This is what I use to contour. I just like this much better. And I've actually been going down my nasal labial folds because I feel like they're getting a little dark. Little lines. I don't like lines. It shows old, but it also shows happy, so I have to be thankful for that. <laughs> I'm going to dot myself like I look like, you know, I have more <laughs> smallpox all over my face. <laughs> but I am going to go in with this concealer here. This is this color 08 and the other one was 01. And so this is the contour brush. It's much smaller. It's still really easy to handle and they go they just blend so nicely and really quickly. I was actually really impressed with this. This is the angled one. I didn't even bother doing the dot because like I said, I don't like it all that much, but I do like this angled one to make my nose look really skinny. See? Uber skinny. But it was a little too harsh and a little too dark. I need to find a different one for my nose just because that's so dark. So I went back in with the bigger one that had foundation still on it. Now I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and do my baking underneath my eyes. And I got a mini beauty blender for Christmas from my mom. Thanks mom! And so I wanted to use that. This is, fits perfectly under my eyes for my baking. I mean look at that. Just the right amount of touch, right spot. It's so wonderful. I really, really am loving this tiny little bud. 
Remember, you want to bake for at least three to five minutes to make sure your makeup stays on all, all day. And who likes their brows? Uh, not mine. <laughs> so I'm going to fill mine in with the NYX Tame and Frame in the color Chocolate. And I normally don't do these on camera, but I wanted to do just a quick little show today of this because I have a lot of people asking about brows. Um, I'm going to do a full brow tutorial, not today, but I will do one soon, just so you guys can see what I do for the whole look. And they're done. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials in the color Ivy. And sometimes I feel like the brow color is just a little too dark, so I just like to go over it with a light color like that, just to kind of make it a little more natural. And I'm going to put this Ivy all over my eyes and then go in with Painkiller in my crease. I'm using a combination of stuff today, lots of stuff. So this is a long tutorial, sorry y'all. I try to keep them to, you know, 8 to 10 minutes and this one is 16 on the dot. <laughs> so I'm going to buff this into my crease as a transition color, as a base transition on both my both sides. I want this look to be really classy and very smoky, but not in your face all black. And so that's why I'm using these transition colors um, on the upper parts. But I am going to go in now with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which is this guy here, and put this into my corners and then blend this out. This will help with darker colors staying more vibrant and being more pigmented and plus the pencil is kind of sticky as you can see is it it's hard to move it a little bit so it actually helps the the colors um, stay on longer now I'm gonna go in with the morphe 35 o palette with this dark chocolate brown here I love this palette it's so pretty this is the om as in mom <laughs> I guess um, they have an os S is for shimmer, M is for matte, basically. I should have said matte. Why did I say mop? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to go over the black jumbo and into my crease with this color. And again, I just want it to be in your face, but not like a punch. And so I just want everything to be super smooth and nice and soft. And then this orange, bright orange color. Oh my gosh, it's kind of scary, but it actually works really well when you buff it all in together like that. And that's going to go as over another transition color. And I can't get my hair out of my face. This is why I keep my hair up and not down. <laughs> then I'm going to take this vanilla color as I'm sneaking in the background here, trying to get it. <laughs> in focus. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> and I'm going to actually go right underneath my brow bone. As you can see, everything is nicely blended and faded out. And I just want to make sure all of that stays that way. And it's not no harsh lines. And... Now I'm going to go in with Max Pro Longwear Concealer to make a, this is the True Gold Bare Minerals and then this is Max Reflex Gold. Sorry. Super fast. Um, I'm going to make a kind of a slight cut crease again. Um, I really like this technique a lot because it makes the, the color show more if I can get it into focus. At least you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm using the Pro Longwear all along this to carve out and cut the crease. And then I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals True Gold color all over this right here. I want to do this because I want the, the MAC Reflex Gold to really, really pop. I want gold. I had some requests for a gold smoky eye, so that's what I'm trying to achieve for you all today. But you see how nicely that carves out? Just that little space. 
and it's a really subtle carb. I don't, I, it's hard for me to do the harsh ones because I have wrinkles, so I do the slight ones. Now I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I put the glitter glue all over my eyelid before I place this gold glitter. So you wanna make sure that the glitter's on first, or sorry, the glue is on first, and then start placing the glitter everywhere. And be really, really diligent, really careful. You know, this takes time. It's not all gonna go on in one fell swoop. It takes a few passes. As you can tell, this is my third pass going into the gold. But look how shiny and pretty that is. It looks like champagne almost. Little bubbly. So I'm gonna do this on both sides. And then I'm gonna go in with my jumbo eye pencil again to do my waterline. And I'm not really going super tight to my waterline. And I'm gonna smoke this out with that chocolate brown. And then again, I'm going to use another brush and that orange color underneath this smoke. I wanna you know, soften the smoke out a little bit, so I'm gonna use that orange color underneath here. Now I'll go with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, best eyeliner in the world. And again, normally I don't, I'm not so detailed, but I feel like with this kind of a tutorial, it needs to show every detail as possible, hence the 16 minutes. And so I don't like a big eyeliner. I like a little bit with a wing like this sometimes, and this for me is kind of dramatic because I want it to be able to see the eyeliner. Oh, I'm talking to my son there as he knocks the camera. I want you to be able to see the makeup and not just eyeliner. So I do a thinner liner here. You just want to make sure that the wing goes along the bottom part of your lashes. And now I'm going to put on some falsies. Again, I never do this on camera, so bear with me here. You usually want to start in the center and start placing the lashes where you want them. It's going to take a few tries and you want to make sure that the glue is almost dry when you do this. The wetter the glue, the harder this is going to be. You want to get the glue almost completely dry when you're placing lashes on. See, mine is still too wet, which is why I'm having a hard time with that inner corner. but we do have success at some point. So I'm gonna go in with this Bare Minerals True as my blush. This color is just so pretty because it's kind of peachy, but it also has a lot of pink in it. So you can kind of go either way with it and it'll pick up whatever you have on your face whatever, like I have more browns here. Sometimes when I wear purples, it ends up being a little more pinky. It's just such a pretty color that way. And this is my newest obsession, my highlighter from Becca. I got this for Christmas and I've never used a Becca highlighter, but oh my glow, look at that. I am loving it. I'm gonna place this this is something that is very important, especially on a New Year's Eve look. You want to be glowing, you want to be glamorous, and the best way to do that is put on your highlighter, and I mean put it on. So for me, I am putting it in places where I know light hits my face, which would be on my forehead, especially on the, my cheekbones. Like, oh, look at that. It's so pretty and soft, and but it gives you a nice little punch in the face. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go back over my nose, on my cupid's bow, and then down on my chin as well. Because those are places that light really bounces off and you want those to be highlighted and just stylish. See right there? See how the light just quickly bounces off that? Oh, gorgeous. Finally, I'm gonna go in with my lips. These are two that I'm gonna use today, the soft, 
matte lip cream from NYX. This is in the color London. And then I'm going to go over that with a intense butter gloss in the color peanut brittle. I wanted to do a nudie brown lip um, because of the look that we're going with here. I didn't want to do anything red. We've done a lot of red. Christmas is over. You know, it's it's still holiday time, but I just wanted to do something different, so I went with the nudes instead. And I'm going to spray myself down with some NYX Dewy Setting Spray, and we're done. There you go. How easy is that? <laughs> Takes a while, but you know what? A good New Year's Eve look is always worth it. Thank you guys so much for a list of all the products used. Let's check out the description box below. And I will see you guys soon. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Have a good New Year's Eve.